Hello, Keller Williams Charleston. Hope you're having a great week and thank you for tuning in to this week's Broker Minute. Uh, today we're going to talk about commissions. Seeing a lot of this lately, either you're waiving your commission, contributing your commission. Obviously, most of you come to me for that. The challenge is, is if you're putting that in the contract. Commission never goes into the contract because the broker and the agent are not parties to the contract. Here's a reminder of that. Page one of Form 310, the Purchase and Sale Agreement. A party is defined as either the buyer or the seller, defined as both buyers and sellers. Well, the next question is, well, Joseph, what if I am the buyer and the seller on there? That's fine. You are the, a party of the contract as the buyer or the seller, not as the agent. So what happens is, is let's just say as an example, you put in there that I'm gonna reduce my buyer's agent commission, or you're the seller, and the listing agent and the other agent puts in, I'm gonna waive my buyer's agent commission. Well, if you all sign off on that and we have no acknowledgement from the broker, you could then be liable to still pay that commission to the broker. Regardless, it's not part of the contract. So what happens if you do wanna change your commission, reduce your commission, negotiate your commission? Well, first and foremost, get the approval from us. Um, normally there's not an issue with that, but you have to have approval in writing. It's per South Carolina law. And then second, you will then use form 120, which is the compensation agreement. And the compensation agreement, if you're the buyer's agent reducing your commission, you will have, wanna have it filled out by both the listing broker and the seller. Yes, I understand that you probably don't need both of them to sign it. However, if you are actually using the reduction of commission as part of the negotiation, you want to make sure that the seller signs it as well so they are aware that they are actually going to be contributing less commission. So you'll fill this out. You'll put all the details of this contract in here. I'm not going to bore you with those in this specific video, but that is how you deal with commissions in a contract. So again, bottom line, no commissions and addendums, no commission in your contract. Your commission is always handled either in your buyer agency agreement, listing agreement, or the compensation agreement. Call me with any questions. Have a great week. Let me know if you need anything. Take care.